Hey, hello everybody. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're taking time to create and um, give yourself a little bit of um, peace in your life. I find that through painting and I am always encouraging those of you watching to do the same. Even if you're brand new, if you have never painted or if you haven't painted since you were a child, I challenge you to pick up a brush um, grab some paints, grab some canvas, some paper, whatever you can get a hold of. You guys, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just grab something that could be an old book that you've had around the house that you no longer use. You can actually paint on those pages. So don't even think that you have to run out and buy canvas to do all this. So hello, I see you guys coming in. If you're brand new here, my name's Kelly Weiler. I'm the owner here at Girl Upcycled Studio. Um, and we are located in Zanesville, Ohio, a little town that is east of Columbus. And I love it when I get to see your faces and meet you all. Hello, Marsha. I miss your face. Hello, hello. But I hope you're all doing well, you guys. Um, it's just been the longest summer. Um, and so, like I said, I'd like to come on here and encourage all of you. And I thought I would come on and just show you what I've been working on. This is actually a piece. I don't know if you all remember. Last month I started it. Yes, it's been sitting just lonely for a month. I do that quite often. Um, but I painted this while I played the Fear is Not the Boss of Me um, book. So that is from Jennifer Allwood. This is where it has evolved. So that is also on YouTube. You can kind of look back and see the progression. It really looks quite different than where I started. Um, so I just want to explain a little bit now about what I'm doing um, and some of the things that I did. I did a lot of, um, I used spray paint. I used, I have a water-based spray paint that I use. I love, I did all of my base colors in the DIY paint, um, all those deep, rich, highly pigmented colors are on the underlayer. Hi, Sheila and Heather. Everybody, oh, my girls are here. Love you girls. Um, so, and as I came forward I have worked in again like I said some sprays I've worked in some metallics I've worked in some acrylic paints as I come forward okay so wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with this and it hit me that I wanted to do something that was a contrast so a contrast meaning I have a lot of texture going on I have a lot of movement I have a lot of color right there's a lot going on so this guy, I knew I wanted to do something um, just like in a soft white or, or neutrals, right? And it came to me, just kind of popped into my head, a white owl. So that's what I'm working on. And I started working on it and I stopped myself an hour ago and I was like, I should do this live so they can all see what's going on. Hello, Mary. Mary. I love talking to you yesterday, my friend. Thank you for that phone call. Um, it was so nice to hear your voice. I just adore you. Um, so what I'm, what I'm doing now, since I'm working on, this is kind of like the underpainting of the owl. So I'm just using some of my DIY paint colors, okay? So I have white swan. I have a couple drops of layered chocolate and I'm making a little bit of a tan color, and I just have a drop or two of this spiced orange, and it's called um, Summer Crush is the name of it. And what that's going to do is it's going to warm my white up a little bit as I progress, okay? Um, and so I just I would come live and show you guys how this is looking. Thank you, Mary. Yes, I think you talk about birds of a feather. I think that's you and I, girl. Birds of a feather flock together, right? Is that how they say it? Um, just a little side note, too. I'm using the turquoise iris, which is Dion's. Um, I'm using, it's called the her favorite. The favorite. It's probably her favorite. So um, I do have these in stock, by the way. If anybody needs some really nice brushes, um, 
this has been a really nice, a nice brush because it's putting in the feathers really, you see that edge, it's kind of rounded. And it's given me, you can kind of see the edges of the feathers. It's putting them in really, really nice. So it has served the purpose very, very well. And then sister, hello Lee Weaver. Good to see you here. Love your little smiley with your little sunglasses on your smiley. Hello, Renee. So anyway, gang, that's what I'm working on today. So if you look at my plate, I have it separated to where it's a dark, a white, and then a little of my warmth from the orange there so that I can pull from those three colors as I progress, okay? So now I'm just going to start going in. I have some reference photos that I've used um, that I'm looking at birds in flight or owls in flight is kind of what I put in. And so it's always nice to reference, you know, some different things if you're not real sure. The angle of this was really kind of different. So I wanted to make sure that I had this in flight. Now his, he's gonna have a little bit of ruffled feathers right here where his little body is. And it starts to get a little bit, a little bit on the taupey side of the color on the under layer. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going in and I'm grabbing some of that and I'm just kind of crisscrossing it in. And what is so nice about the using the DIY paint as a base for this? Hello, Farah. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, is it's it's a pretty highly pigmented, so it's going to cover very very well, and um, it's it's going to um, you're not going to see all that background. So if you would want to see some of the background, you want to make sure that you use a translucent paint or if those of you that are using the chalk style paint you want to make sure you add a ton of glaze and water to it so that it dilutes it so that you can make it transparent okay does that make sense at all i hope that it does if you see over here those of you that are wondering this beautiful um color that we see this is golden ticket um it's just so pretty i don't know if you can see the shine on it it's really really pretty so that's really going to pop I don't think I'm going to use gold anywhere else on this painting other than on this silhouette okay um, because that's going to help pull the eye I think that the way I'm creating this bird I think it's going to be pulled to the front as it looks right now and so your eye is going to be drawn to that bird, but it's going to dance over here onto all of this gold. And then it's going to kind of dance around um, at all of the different colors and textures and everything. God, is that a little bit better? Um, gold pattern is gorgeous. Thank you, Heather. Um, and you guys, anybody can do that. Um, if you are not sure of yourself, if you're brand new, I want to challenge you tonight or tomorrow to give this a try. All you have to do is um, trace out a silhouette. Let's say you, you, um, let's say you wanna do a silhouette of a cow. I'm just throwing that out there. So you're gonna get a um, picture of a cow. You can uh, like just copy it right on your copy and on a piece of paper, copy it. And then you're gonna cut out the silhouette of the cow, okay? You're going to lay that silhouette down and you're going to trace around it, okay? And that this is for people that aren't comfortable with drawing their own silhouette, okay? So you're going to just trace around it, get your silhouette down there. And then after your silhouette is down there, you're going to put some kind of a stencil or pattern, a, a, some kind of stencil with a pretty pattern. You're going to put that over top of that silhouette and you're going to pounce with a stencil brush, which this is what a stencil brush looks like. Jamie Ray sells these too, guys. I don't have her stuff in, at least not at the moment, but I've heard her brushes are nice, but they have a flat top to it, okay? 
So you're going to just simply load up your brush. You're going to offload and then you're going to fill your stencil in. You're going to pull away. And then what you can do at home is if you've gone outside the lines of your silhouette, you're going to take a color. Um, like it's going to be your background color. So we're going to say like sky blue and you're going to paint all around that silhouette and voila, you're going to have a beautiful silhouette of whatever you choose with a beautiful pattern um, with the metallic on it. Like I said, I used golden ticket. You could use, um, I also have the copper pennies from heaven. That would be really cool to use as well. So have fun with that. And I would love to see it. If you do try that, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna get back in here. Sorry, I got to Gavin a little bit much, didn't I? Do that sometimes. But if there's anything that you have questions about, gang, and you have me live here right now for a few minutes, um, now's the time. Um, that you can ask me any questions. It can be just about anything that you want um, as far as painting goes, okay? So feel free to type your question in. If I can't answer you, I'll try to at least um, get an answer for you because I just don't know it all. I just don't. <laughs> um, but I'll try to get an answer for you guys. Okay, and I am trying to look back behind me and I'm also looking at my, my example that I have and I'm trying to follow that silhouette that I'm trying to get of this owl, okay? I don't think that I've ever painted an owl in light. I always do them sitting or so, but I absolutely love owls. Um, they have quite a bit of meaning to our family, um, actually on both sides of our family. Um, my grandmother collected owls when I was a little girl. That would have been back in the 70s. I don't know if you, any of you that are, that grew up in the 70s, anybody? Did you grow up in the 70s? Do you remember all the owls that were out? Um, my grandmother collected them, and so you know, I always think of her um, with the owls. So, And we also have a family of owls that live on our property, and my husband and I spend time out on our on our deck listening to those owls and they have just been they've given us so much joy and it just makes me so happy that I live in the country when I hear those owls doing their their thing <laughs> I had no idea that owls they just have their own little language you know I mean it's not just a hoot hoot, but they have a whole entire language and they're just so, um, so interesting to watch and to listen to. And um, they have, you know, where I live, they, of course, they have their babies. So we get to, you know, watch the, watch them have their little family. So it's really, it's really been such a cool thing. Okay, so I want to sure that I highlight the top of this and it has kind of a let's see I'm kind of as I'm drawing this out I'm kind of sketching with my white paint okay is kind of what I'm doing yes I'm a 70s girl says Mary. Hi, Susan. Hello, Jade. Jade, I got your, I believe that was your order that came in. I have it sitting here ready for you. So you need to, um, I think, do you want that shipped, Jade? Or 
um, I think you had it being shipped out, but I know you're a little close to me. So if you do want to pick that up, I can return your shipping. Um, and you can just let me know when you'll, you'll be in town to pick it up. Cause I believe you live pretty close to me. And if not, I can just throw that into, um, over to the post office too. That's not a problem. Sheila says, I love my pennies from heaven. Farah, she says she's going to try this. You're going to try. Yeah. It's so cool. If you don't have the metallic, like I'm going to go back to the cow because a lot of people, um, especially in our area where we live, we're in Ohio, a lot of farms here, a lot of people love the farmhouse look, um, the Joanna Gaines farmy, right? So you could actually, we're going to go back to the cow, do your silhouette of the cow, um, put your stencil you know, do your stenciling like I explained, but rather than using um, the metallic, you could you could just do like um, your background dark and your stencil like, let's say white, right? And then you could do like the farmhouse word or you could do, um, I don't know, like a favorite verse or um, a, a word, faith farmhouse, whatever you want. So it'd be easy to do. You can do it just right on top of canvas. Um, Jade says I'm an hour and a half away. Okay. So I will just, I will just pop that right into the mail for you. That is no problem. Hi, Renee. Hat or height. I hope I said your name correctly. She says me too. I'm excited to try it. Yeah. It is so easy. Anybody can do it. And um, I don't know. I just thought that would be a, kind of a cool thing rather than spend like a bunch of time and trying to do just detailed. It isn't really going to matter. I thought that would be a bigger impact just to put that on there. And it's going to give kind of that illusion that she does have a patterned clothing on or something of that nature, right? Thank you, Donna Krogan. How are you, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I'm going to get back to this. I'm just going to start crisscrossing this. This little body is a little bit fluffy. So I'm going to put some texture. The other thing, too, again. Since I was talking, that dried out on me. So I can go ahead and reactivate that and just kind of, there we go, work that in just a little bit. Just doing really light, light crisscrosses. Now I'm going to do many, many layers on this. Right now I'm just, you guys, I'm just working on, you know, this underpainting right now. And I will... Like I said, I'll go over top of it with, I don't know, I'll probably, as I come forward, I'll be using um, acrylics and you can use oils as you come forward as well. For those of you that are, you are brave, you don't do a lot of oils, but that's something that I would like to get. A little bit into anyway just because it's going to give it a whole different feel right okay all right let's see I am very much into owls. I paint them quite a bit. Um, I don't know if you guys remember I said I've got one that I've been working on forever and I barely, I only have to finish the eyes on the girl and it's completely done and I feel like I'm, I've got a customer ready to buy her and I think I'm like emotionally attached to it or something. For some reason, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say goodbye to her yet. Isn't that awful? So 
that happens. Thank you so much, Donna. Hi, Maggie. Maggie Fletcher is over there on YouTube. Love it when my YouTube family comes in and says hello. These little eyes, they look a little, I got something wrong here. Hold on. I think I'm going to change my brush for this. Something with more of a point. Maybe getting that a little bit too big. Hello, Armand. How are you? Good to see you. So one of these days I will get on here and do a start to finish, I'll, but it has to be something that's not quite as in depth, I guess. I know uh, the intuitive art, sometimes it can last a little bit longer than the average painting. So, uh, so I'll get on here and do like a, just an easy little splatter and chatter. Or maybe we'll do a, maybe we'll do one of these silhouette paintings together. Would you all like that? That would be something really pretty easy that I feel like everybody out there could do. So why don't we, why don't we schedule something like that? There, I think his eyes are a little bit better. They are a little bit bigger than the reference I'm looking at, but I do really like to accentuate the eyes. Um, I think it kind of gives it a little more, a little interest. Make prints of it. Yes, of the, you know which one I'm talking about. The, oh, of this one? Make prints of this one or the other one? I think you're talking about the other one. Yeah, I think I'm going to, for sure. So anyway, gang, this um, was started with the fear is not the boss of you um, book. I started this, it's of Jennifer Allwoods. And I just think that um, I was trying to think about the words of her book. It is a faith-based book. Um, I just wanted to put that out there and let y'all know that, but it is very, very good whether you are into faith or not. Um, it's just a very good, encouraging book. But I would, I had some of that book on audio while I was painting the underpainting of the background of this. And so I was trying to think about the silhouette and in my mind with the fear is not the boss of you in my mind you know she's walking away from letting fear guide her right she's not letting fear guide her anymore and so to me this owl taking flight represents you know her um pulling through and she's she's strong She's scared, but she's still strong and she's doing it anyway. And she's um, getting stronger in her flight. And to me, that's what this owl kind of represents. And I hope that it's going to, um, I hope that it's going to come through that way. So we'll see. <laughs> so I'm not sure of the name yet. So um, I don't know. I could take uh, suggestions on name. I was thinking something about um, not um, not being guided by fear or 
fear will not guide me or um, something of that nature. So thank you, Judith. How are you? Always makes me happy to see your name. Renee says she loves the background. And Renee, you can watch on YouTube. You can watch the, um, the beginning of this. Her hair and little face. Oh, thank you. Well, it's not perfect, but I'm glad that it seems that way on you. Know. <laughs> thank you. It's not though. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Let's let's just start. I'm going to start with this. I want his wings to be kind of overlapped. I'm just going to start pulling. I'm not going to do too much detail right now. I'm just going to start. Like I said, this is an underlayer. Um, so what I'm doing is this little V part right here, he'll have a darker kind of color. So I'm going to do that in gray. And basically with my underpainting, you guys, all right, that's basically all you're doing is you're just kind of putting in strokes of what that under color would be. Not worrying about too much detail, okay? So again, for those of you that joined a little bit later, I used, I'm gonna change back to my brush from Dion. This is called The Favorite. And this is a perfect shape for doing these little feather movements. So I'm gonna put change back to that. That's much better. Um, anyway, so I used white swan. I've got a drop of layered chocolate, which is brown and a little droplet of orange, which is called Summer Crush. It's like a spicy orange. And so as I start to warm up the browns in the feathers, that's what that orange is for. And I'm gonna mix that in with that brown and white. So it just gives a nice little warm places. Fear will not guide me, Susan. That is, a, that's a good one. I, I might have to use that one, my friend. Yes, and you know, it just, it really is so, I think, good right now. Um, thinking about, you know, busting through our fears. I know that you know, right now in this day and age, what we're all going through, we don't even have to leave our houses very much to be consumed with fear, right? It's just kind of the, kind of what a lot of people are going through right now. And so I hope that this encourages some, someone that's struggling with a fear. It could be a fear of even leaving your house it could be a fear of it could be a fear of painting it could be um a fear of what others think um any of that i mean you can allow it to debilitate your life and hold you hostage and so i hope that this encourages someone out there and I, like I said, I do recommend the book. If you need a good read, it's an easy read. It's not super long, but that was, and I'm not getting paid for this, guys. It's just something that I bought and read, and I even gave one away. Um, and it, it just is really helpful. This is just stunning. Thank you. Kristen, hello, my friend. Kristen Lee Brown, she is one of my favorite local artists and I love her, love her soul to, to bits and pieces. <laughs> Thank you, girl, I miss you. I hope we can all get together and paint soon and do some fun things again. We are all ready for it, aren't we? Today. Oh, 
I did something fun last night, you guys. By the way, this is kind of off topic. We're going to lighten up the... Oh, Susan says, I enjoyed the book so much. Yeah. Jay did too. It's a lovely book. It is so, so good for you know, any of you struggling right now. I highly recommend it. But changing the subject, changing gears. Um, I watched Hamilton last night. It's my first time watching Hamilton. It was so good. It was kind of, it's kind of funny in a way. I kept thinking, oh my goodness. I, I kept thinking, could you imagine if our ancestors came back? You know, if they came back to life and they were like, and they saw their their life and the history put into like a like a rap form, you know, swaggy, you know, which was so good. By the way, I loved it. But I got to chuckle, and my sister and I and my daughter, we all watched that yesterday, and we all started laughing about that. Like, what if they came back and were like, what the heck? We fought and died, and they're making this play about it. <laughs> and then I said, I looked over at my sister, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I wonder if years and years from now, when we're all dead and gone, if they're going to make, a, like, some kind of a play or a movie over the year 2020. Now, I wonder what that would fall in. Would that fall in a thriller? or a comedy or it'd be just be this big mix of every emotion in the world <laughs> so then we start laughing about that we we're like yeah my gosh oh my gosh that could totally happen <laughs> oh okay but for real okay let's start popping this on now i'm using white swan and i'm going to follow my lines there would be there would be more than one <laughs> i know right <laughs> emotion be more than one emotion <laughs> right i mean like seriously okay, i'm gonna grab my chair and sit while I do this. Yeah, I just don't even know what kind of... Are you all planning another gallery hop? You know what? Um, so far they have been canceling. The gallery hops have been canceled. Our Wybridge Festival has been canceled. And so I think it's just a matter of Everybody's just kind of hunkered down right now, waiting, watching, and, you know, making sure everybody's safe, um, making sure that people feel safe, um, and just trying to be respectful of everybody, and you know what I mean? So it's just a really weird, weird things going on, and we weird energies, and, you know, so um, I think that's why they made that. Um, that call and so we will as soon as just everything kind of gets to a place where everybody's comfortable and want out and about and can um, just safely go about their business and feel comfortable then we will be back doing that um, I am open however um, my hours are not as strict as they were just because but I am pretty much here Wednesday through Saturday. I mean, I just kind of tell people if you want to come and make an appointment or you're welcome to do that. Or I'm just trying to be respectful of everybody and, <laughs> you know. Heather says, yes, it was funny. Not exactly accurate historically, but I'll chalk it up to artistic license. I know, right? I thought, and so the part, does anybody know, those of you history buffs out there, I was going to Google this and I forgot last night. Do you know, did, did Hamilton actually have a son that was killed um, in, in a shoot off or was that something they added? I, I didn't know. Um, maybe, I don't know if I should know that, 
But I just thought, well, I wonder if that's accurate. Okay. So I'm just going to start filling this in really quick. But I think this is going to really change the whole look and feel of this entire painting, but I also feel like it's going to, it's it's just helping me nail the whole feel of what I was going for about, you know, she's taking charge. She's not, she's walking away from fear. She's, um, she's doing what her soul needs to do, you know. Um, Maggie says a year of madness, <laughs> right? Um, I read the Chernow bio last winter. You did? It, but that is true then, right? You guys are saying, yes, that's true. And you know what? I'm so terrible because my <laughs> my daughter was kind of scolding me. She was like, you know, this is in the history books, you know? And I was like, I know it was, honey, but I think I was doodling. Um during that class. <laughs> I always got in trouble for doodling. But now look, see, it didn't go to waste. You know? Um, Renee, she says, Kelly, are you self-taught or did you go to art school? I love your creativity. I am self-taught, but I do not want to take credit for that because being self-taught means that I learn from each and every person that I meet, every artist that I meet, um, every bird that I see in nature, everything, everything teaches me. So, um, but I always wanted to go to art school. That was a dream of mine. And, you know, I believed that lie that I couldn't make it as an artist, that I couldn't get paid um, for doing art. Um, that was kind of just, that's kind of how it was back then. You kind of, we kind of just had that stigma. Um, anybody that was going to art school was kind of, but meanwhile, um, so my story goes that even though I did not go to art school, I always had a creative job. Even, even as a young girl, um, I started a, I was a receptionist at a local hair salon and I was doodling at the desk and the owner saw my doodles and I started designing their t-shirts and I started designing their sweatshirts and I did some makeup art for them. I did some stage art because he was like a, um, inspirational hairdresser they did hair shows and stuff um so anyway um so i always had creative jobs and after after that happened let me grab my weights after um I worked at the desk, then I started doing sculptured nails. I did sculptured nails. Do you guys know what that is? I don't even know if they still do it. I think it's gel nails now, but I did sculptured nails for like 10 years and I would do like nail art on fingernails. And then after that, I got a job at the Longerberger Basket Company and I wove baskets for like three or four years hand wove baskets and then I got my um so I got my foot in the door there and I worked my way into the creative design department there and we did all of the event decorating and um anything creative there came from our department as far as like um let me go around the corner you know, as far as visual, anything visually um, came from us. A whole team, not just me, whole team. And I learned a ton um, there. And it was cool because they, I could use my art 
um, in that department. I also worked in a flower department when I was there. So I learned floral design. Um, I, just, I just learned a ton there. Okay. Deanne, boss, Denny, girl, hi. She says, hi, Tanya. Tanya must be in the house. Maggie says, Kelly, do you have that brush you are using in your shop for sale? I do. I It comes in a set. So, and I love it. It's a set of, oh, I believe five brushes. Um, if you're an artist and you want a good set of brushes, highly recommend it. I think I only have three sets left but they're on my website, but they're very nice. Um, I don't share these very well. Like when I have, <laughs> I always tease and say that. When I have classes in here, I, I don't usually share my, my, D, my Dion brushes I don't share because they're nice and I'm hard on them enough myself. So if, you know, when you have classes um, and people are in here, you know, for the splatter and chatter, they're 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 sitting in water a lot. That's what breaks your brushes down. By the way, if you leave your brushes sit in water, it's going to loosen. Um, it absorbs up the water absorbs up in through your wood, and eventually it breaks down um, up in here where it's held together. So the brushes that I that are really nice, I try really hard to take good care of them. So, but yes, I do have those. Are there any other questions? Um, so now I got my base colors on there so you can kind of see where I'm going with the shape. I feel like I got a shape. Okay. And now I can start going in uh, and start incorporating some of this other color. I don't know if you can see it very well. I feel like I need to add a little bit more orange tone, which is called Summer Crush. Maggie says I will be in on Saturday around one if you're available. You will? Awesome. Um, yeah, I should be here. I should be here. What's today? Is today? This is Thursday, right? I lost all sense of time and day and time and all that. Oh, thank you. Oh, good Lord. What is this size? It looks like a, I don't know. I'll have to measure it. I can't remember what this is. It's probably like a, I don't even want to guess because it'll be wrong. Let me measure it. Ah. Oh, here we go. Should I maybe 30? I think I'm going to do, hey, Dion, I just, I was talking about you. Were your ears ringing, my friend? It's a 30 by 30, gang. Were your ears ringing? I was just talking about you and how how I love your brushes and how I'm a little bit stingy with them. <laughs> when I have the splatter and chatter classes, I hide my good brushes. But anyway, I have, I think I have three sets. <laughs> they were, I think I have three sets left. Um, I think I just sold a set last week, but I have three left and highly recommend them. They're very nice. And I was telling the ladies how to take care of them, not to let these sit in water for too long. So you wash it off and you want to dry it and set it aside. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm sorry. I think she was even here one time and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to let you use my brushes. <laughs> Just tease it. You can use those brushes anytime. I know you'll take care. You came all that way. You can, you can use your own brushes. Oh, I was just teasing now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add... A little bit of looks like weathered wood, and I'm going to get some. Um, I'm going to grab some prairie gray too while I'm at it. So I'm just going to.
try to get a little bit of texture and color into these feathers. And like I said, it's going to be a little bit flat right now. But as I move forward, and I'm kind of looking, I've got a reference that I'm looking at. As I move forward with the color, I'll start adding acrylics onto the top of it and that'll kind of help it pop. But I want it to be very, um, I want it to be subdued. I don't want it to be real bold. So it, you know, I do want to keep it a little bit subdued. More Matt. I know, she's so lucky. Have Matt clean them. I know I can't get my, I can't get my hubs to do any of that kind of stuff. That would be so wonderful. You're so lucky. Thanks, Tanya. So nice. Um, okay, the Pro Iris series comes out soon. What is that exactly? If you're still on here, Dion, the Pro Iris. I'm not real sure what that is. I'm missing out. I'm missing something. It's kind of, it's, I don't know. I'm not on all the pages like I should be, but you know how that is, girl. Okay, so I just mixed a little bit of the prairie gray with the orange tone just to kind of tune it down a little bit. It's the new professional brush set. You'll get a set. Oh, oh, thank you, Dion. That's so sweet. I wish we could like, seriously just wish we could hang out and paint together. Like, uh, you know, a bunch of us, like not teach, not, not a big, just chill out, paint, order pizza, you know. Well, I can't wait to see what that is. Hmm, I'm excited. So hopefully your event's still on for, goodness, October, right? Hopefully that is still able to happen because I'm a little stir crazy here. So you can kind of see, I'm just going to use, get some definition. Sounds glorious. Drink wine. We have two events in September in the retreat in October. Yeah, good. I was hoping it was, I mean, I hadn't heard from you. I figured it was still on, <laughs> but we were just talking about how crazy things are lately that we don't know if we're coming or going half the time, do we? So, guys, I am just literally just kind of quickly putting in some detail here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and spritz this a little bit so that I can blend it a little bit more so it doesn't look like it's striped, right? Let's just blend. That, again, that is why I do like the DIY paint for my, my under paintings, you guys, because this is how, this is, it's so easy. So if that was acrylic paint, I would not be able to reactivate that and to blend it like that, okay? So, and then what I'll do, like I said, I will go over top on my top layers and we'll be using the acrylics on the top. It would be really cool. But I'm thinking about doing a complete series with owls. Um, it was. 
it really was. Um, Tanya is asking from Delilah Design, was, was this an intuitive piece? So I started this actually, I haven't worked on it for a while, but I started this when I was playing the book from Jennifer Allwood. She gave me permission to play it on Audible while I painted. So you can find that on YouTube. Um, it is Fear is Not the Boss of You. Um, and it was just was kind of cool because it was nice because I could kind of get into the zone and not that I don't like to talk. I, I love to talk to all of you, but, and I know those of you that paint live, you're, you get what I'm saying that, um, it, it, sometimes it's hard to really get in your zone or it is for me anyway. So it was really nice because, you know, we can't really play music, which is how I normally would work. Normally, if I'm in my studio, I'm jamming to, well, I had scorpions on yesterday, which was weird because I don't usually listen to that. But, but anyway, um, I'm usually jamming to some music and painting and zoning out. Well, you can't do that on Facebook. So it was nice. I could have that audible playing and... It was just nice. I could just kind of zone out and everybody enjoyed the book. The book is good. Um, highly recommend it. But anyway, so this is going to, it's going to kind of match that theme of that book, right? That's what I'm going for anyway. So I'm just blending right now. Oh, yeah. She was so cool about it, too, Dion. She was like, sure, girl. How about it? So it was it was so nice. So um, I might start doing that every once in a while on a regular basis with just different books that, you know, because I do a lot of books on Audible. And as long as the author is okay with it, I don't know if I'm allowed to just do that, but I will ask the authors. You know, as long as they're okay with it, then, yeah. mixing in and right now you guys I'm not really going into a lot of detail like I said I've got a reference photo I'm just kind of following some of the color pattern on his his little wing and uh, I will blend it out as I, as I go along detail it out a little bit okay but anyway, are there any questions? How are we doing on time? Been 53 minutes. So I usually don't like to go over an hour. Hi, Laura. How are you? Not seen you on here in a while, girl. Okay, Judy has a question and she says, do you have an idea of when your big top and salvation solution will be back in stock? Okay. I have my salvation solution in, however, I sold my clear, but I do have white. I have about four cans left. Um, my big top is scheduled to be in on, I need to look. It was supposed to be, I need to look. Might be Monday, might be Monday or Tuesday, beginning of next week. Um, so Judy, I think what I'll do is I'll probably just do like a really quick post. Don't scare me. I'll, I'll do a really quick post, um, when that happens, just to let you guys know that it's in, because I do have several people wanting it. So that, that should help. Can't wait to see it in person. Yeah, I think that it's, I think it's coming along. I think it's coming along so you want it clear okay I I'm gonna have to order it and that that's gonna be a while probably next month before I get more clear in because I don't I'll look on my order and I'll see if it's coming with the next week's order but I don't I don't think it is I'll double check for you are there any other questions while you have me here so 
anyway, this was the progress of it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me lay in the underpainting of the owl. And I hope you enjoyed hearing about how you could kind of create this kind of similar look. And I hope you guys give it a try. And I think we will do this live together sometime. We'll do like a silhouette design together. And I'll just do that on my public page. I will create a, an event for it, um, a public event, so we can all be live and do it together. So um, I'll try to get that on schedule for I don't know, maybe next week. Okay. All right, gang. Well, thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys really soon. I'll try to come live again tomorrow and um, have another project. All right. Thanks, everyone. Go create.